lovely elevator music welcome to nobody's plays chroma gun doing a quick little review on this but first i figure let's let the uh, narrator kind of get us into the world of uh, chroma gun here yeah chroma tech and here we go welcome to the chroma tech test labs you're here because you're the best of the best not because you were in need of 10 bucks and nobody else signed up i mean who would have given you that idea before we start we need to test your general mobility. Make your way down the corridor towards the exit door. Note that the exit is the part of the wall that looks different from the other parts of the wall. Also, it says exit. And that is our announcer. And this is Chroma Gun. Chroma Gun is a f FPS puzzle game. To me, it's very much a spiritual successor to Portal. Possibly a little too much. Again, that's just my opinion. Um, hopefully I'll be doing more reviews like this going forward, but in the interest of full disclosure, I'll let you guys know, um, for instance, like this one, it was a game that was given to me. It was not one that I bought, or if it is something that is supported or sponsored content, I will make it very clear also. So I just want to get that out of the way now. And in future videos, I'll let you know in the description, and hopefully I remember in the actual talking, uh, if I paid for the game, if the game was given to me, or if it's it's or if it's sponsored content. Um, now, to be clear, I did actually really enjoy this game. Um, I played for what was about 10 minutes, and it ended up being actually closer to about a half hour. So I did actually lose track of time. So that's a definitely a good sign. Um, so I thought I would actually start with the bad stuff first, just to get it out of the way and give my little you know nitpicks on what I think is actually a pretty good game overall. Now, if you can't hear the uh, announcer, uh, that's why I played at the beginning for sure. I'm going to be talking over him here. Uh, it feels a little too much like Gladys to me from Portal. Um, I didn't really care for him. Um, I found it more distracting than adding to the story. Uh, just to be absolutely a thousand percent clear, Portal is one of my favorite games of all times. I have tons of Portal merchandise for a game that you know was relatively inexpensive, but I played so much because I just love the atmosphere, the uh, world they created, and just and I think that's what they're trying to do here. But um, I just don't think it went over too well, in my opinion. Uh, again, just for the narrative part, um, the first level we're kind of blowing through here. Um, could be part of the reason why I didn't really get into the story so much because the puzzles were very, very straightforward in my opinion for the opening ones where there's very few places you can shoot, like here, just shoot there, and uh, that's really the only option. Here you can only shoot there. So it kind of starts you off very basic, which is good, and in the pros that I'm going to discuss later, but I thought the first levels were a little too simple and the fact that I kind of blew through them... I didn't always hear the whole storyline, which, again, could be an in-depth story and funnier if I had paid attention to it, but the fact that it went, uh, that I just went through it so fast, um, I may have been missing out, so I think they could have worked on the timing a bit. Also, in later levels, I found no way to undo the paint. Like, you see there, the three colors are on the screen there. Uh, you can mix any of the two colors to get the ones between it. You can also mix all the colors and get brown. So when you're doing um, a puzzle, it's possible to get to the point where you're in a fail state, where there's no way to undo what you did and you have to start the level over. Not just part of it, but the entire level, which I found to be a little frustrating. Uh, with Portal, again, I keep comparing it to Portal, my apologies, but I just love that game so much. You can shoot a Portal in the wrong spot, and then shoot a portal in a different spot to correct it. You're never really stuck. And if you lose, like, say, one of the weighted companion cubes, um, you can always get those back. You just hit a button. It'll destroy the one you called initially, but it'll give you a new one. So you can always go back to a known state and start over. Now, to me, that's really the bad stuff. Uh, the good stuff, the list isn't as long, but it means a lot more to me. The game overall is very fun. I really enjoyed it. The opening levels, again, were a little, to me, a little simple, just a little too straightforward. Um, me just, I'm just trying stuff here to experiment to see what we can do. Uh, but you get through them pretty quick. So even though 
they were simple. They weren't bothersome. They weren't a hindrance because you can get through them relatively fast, especially if you figure out, like, oh, I get this puzzle. Cool. Next puzzle. Next puzzle. And then it starts getting more complicated. Um, it does, again, start you off slow, which is good, a little too slow, uh, in my opinion. But it does ramp up the difficulty pretty quickly and doesn't really hold you back doing the same thing over and over and over again if you do get it. Like this, I took one look at it, I'm like, oh, boom, 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 three shots, we're done, next level. So if you didn't understand it, it would actually give you a chance to learn it, which is very cool. Uh, but if you figured it out pretty quick, like I did for that particular puzzle, um, it wasn't, again, a, a big hindrance where it's a little experimentation, but goes through it pretty quickly. Another cool option is there's actually a speed run option built in you can check out. I haven't played that one yet because I'm still playing the main game and uh, was going to check that out later just to see uh, you know what we can do with that and maybe something I might want to try later if this game does stick with me like Portal does. Um, and again, the, the list for the pros is shorter than the list of cons, but the biggest and first one is this game is really fun. I really enjoyed it. Is it worth the $12.99? That's up to you. For me, for the price, if if I would have paid $12.99, um, again, I don't think I, I would have been happy with the purchase. If it's not a game you really enjoy, uh, the you know, first-person puzzle-type game like Portal, uh, definitely stay away. If it is a game you enjoy in Portal, just the gameplay alone, I really think it's worth it. Again, for the narration and the story, I don't think it lives up to Portal, but for me, it's kind of hard to, because I've played that game so many times, and it's so hard to live up to. I don't know if anything could. The only th I, I was very concerned when Portal 2 came out, because I love Portal so much, I didn't think 2 could even come close, and luckily I was wrong. I thought 2 was actually better than 1, and really enjoyed it. So, that's my take on Chromaga. Uh, if you guys have played it, let me know what you think. If you want to see more reviews like that, again, please do let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys.